this is a continuation of the simple checks of the gas valve before I was showing you how to do uh, amp draw checks to be sure there was amp draw actually passing uh, through the wire and energizing the gas valve well this one we're just going to do a voltage check okay the way we're going to test this is I'm first going to pull the plug on this. Now not all these have plugs. This one does. And this one's a little different because it's got three wires coming to it. Uh, most of these things have uh, jumpers all over the place and they're a little confusing. But you're looking for either two or three wires coming to the gas valve. Okay. This one's got three wires because it is... Uh, it's a uh, two-stage. Okay, this valve would be a pretty simple one. There's just two wires coming to it. There's no jumpers or anything. Some of these have jumpers. Uh, and what you'd need to do, if you wanted to check this, now this has got an insulated uh, probe on it. You can put your probe in there and put your other probe on the other one. And that's how you test that one. Okay, by using a mirror, I can see that I have a C in the center and a high on the right. And that uh, PM on the left, that's got to be low because the center is going to be common. So I'm going to put it on the center one and the one that says PM. Now if you look closely on this plug, you can see there's a D uh, form to the connector on either end and a circular one in the center. And so that means if you look at the, uh, at the female plug, it goes in like that. So now we can determine which is low and which is high. Because we know what it was on the, uh, on the gas valve itself. And here I got my meter probes hooked up to the terminals. In the center one and the, and the right one. And we're going to fire this up and I'll show you the uh, reading on the meter. And then you can tell when the gas valve comes on. Okay, the inducer's on, and we should get a uh, call for heat. There you go, 27.7 volts dropped out. Now I'm going to go with that one more time. Okay, the inducer's on. Pretty soon we're going to get power to the gas valve as soon as the hot surface igniter warms up. Okay, there it is. Okay, because we did not sense flame because no gas passed through, uh, it dropped back out again. That's the time period that that thing's going to be on. So it's very short. So you need to understand you're doing this and things are happening, inducers are running and stuff like that, and hot surface igniters are coming on. That is not going to have part of that gas valve until the igniter warms up and it's going to do a trial for ignition. Now, down here, I've got all this disconnected here. One of the problems you may have when you uh, and you go to test the gas valve, there are some integrated furnace controls or control board or whatever you want to call them uh, that sense whether there's continuity through the gas valve. So if you've got that plug off, it's going to sense there's no continuity through the gas valve and they won't try for ignition. You got to look at each individual. I can't remember which ones do it right now, and I'm too lazy to go look up look up all the numbers on them. But uh, there are some that are that way. So if you get a 
a blinking code that says there's a gas valve problem, uh, then you can't unplug it. You'll have to leave it plugged in and attach your lead somewhere uh, on the, uh, well like in the case of this one, you can put your leads down in where the wires are. It's a little harder to get them in there sometimes, but you could do that. Uh, anyway, that's a voltage test. Uh, this is in conjunction, of course, with the simple test, which was an amp draw of the uh, gas valve, which I still believe is the best way to initially begin troubleshoot because it tells me that there is voltage to the gas valve and the gas valve is energizing. Uh, if you have a negative where you go in here and you don't get any amp draw, then you need to start looking with your voltmeter and find out if there's actually voltage coming to this. Because what we're doing is we're determining whether there's a gas valve problem, there's gas, you know, there's power to the gas valve, but it's not letting gas through, or there's no power coming to the gas valve. And remember, uh, you oftentimes will have ghost voltages, you know, three and a half volts or something like that. Those are feedbacks in the electronics. Uh, we call them ghost voltages. Uh, so those don't mean anything. It should be running 24 to 28 volts uh, when it's energized. So if I did this, I got no voltage to the gas valve on the trial for ignition, then uh, I'm looking at either a wiring problem or a uh, control board problem. If I do have power to the gas valve, and either the gas valve is not working or I do not have any gas supply. Okay, that's the voltage check on the gas valve.